This just in. NASA released early this morning a series of images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. In a startling new revelation, we have finally discovered actual life-sustaining world beyond our own, only four light years away. Located in the Andromeda Galaxy, this binary planet system consists of a gas giant, Justifed 1138, and its habitable moon, Camino. Camino is a water planet much like Earth as far as scientists can gather from the sensitive instrument readings aboard the Hubble, which can detect wavelengths associated with oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, as well as radiation levels. Camino shares identical readings that scientists at NASA have determined to be key factors in supporting human life. All right, let's dive in and let's see how we can make a gas giant and an exoplanet. So I was at a restaurant the other day and I was admiring how beautiful their red onyx tables were until it struck me, this looks exactly like a planet. Took a couple of pictures with my cell phone, stitched them together. So we'll just spherize this thing and uh, add a little Gaussian blur uh, to make it look like clouds and a far away distant planet. Let's turn on some of these uh, shadowy layers that I've compiled here, give it some realism. Alright. Ta-da! A convincing gas giant. We'll call our gas giant Justifed 1138. Star Wars geeks will get a kick out of that. Our gas giant's gonna need a habitable moon orbiting it. As you remember, we've already made a pretty convincing little planet before, a little water world. So we're going to call it Camino, um, and let's just copy and paste this in here. Um, add the same shading and lighting effects as we have before. Let's scale it down so it looks like a convincing orbiting moon. All right, now comes for the fun part. Let's show you how NASA made the moon transit uh, the Earth. Um, very simple. Um, takes no effort at all. It's called tweening. There's a really cute little animation feature in here. So we position our planet just right and then we uh, open up the animation uh, tab here and we really only have to uh, pick our start position and pick where the uh, our ending position is and hit the tween button and I've selected 10 steps here and I'll automatically space out 10 frames uh, between the first movement and the last movement, um, which is why you don't see the moon travel on an on an orbital arc in the shot because, well, Photoshop doesn't actually have that. Adobe Premiere does, but they didn't use Adobe Premiere. Um, also, as you can see, this is an animated GIF now, and the animated GIF um, selects out the closest 256 color combinations and green fringing on the front and leading edge obviously isn't part of my image so don't know how it got there but this is how it's done and as you can see it was done fairly easy